fished late last night, so I slept a lot today. So got back up, come back out to the lake. I'm using live shad for bait. They're all over out here. They're spawning. I've been catching some little channel cats. Their bellies just swelled up. They're getting ready to go on the nest. Hopefully, we can catch a couple tonight and put them on video. Um, like I say, I'm using live shad. Got some cut carp, but I'm just not feeling it. Did like two intros before this, and they both sucked. And in between them and this one, something slammed the live shad. And as soon as I hooked up on him, he hung up on me in the middle of a lake in mud. Imagine that story of my life. Hook a big one, they hang up. But we're going to see if we can't get some little channel cats on video. Um, this rain, it just won't let up. So I'm by a shelter house. In case it does rain, in case a nasty storm or something rolls in, at least I'll be protected and we can keep on fishing. So, local lake, live shad. I guess we could call this one how to catch channel catfish during the spawn. That might work if I could catch one. We'll see. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Something just smacked my. One of the poles, I don't know which one it was, bait clicker went off for about six inches. We'll see if he comes back. Smacking that live shad. I don't have nothing on cut shad or cut carp. I may try it again, but right now it's live shad, so we'll see. I tell you guys, I hate summertime like a lot. Summertime sucks. See nothing bites in my eyes. There he goes. He wants it. Is he gonna take it? I think it's that center one. Is he gonna take it? Probably a little old channel. I don't know, four or five inch gizzard shed. He probably can't choke it down. First one I had on here that I lost, he, God, I like First one I had on here, he took it with authority. I mean, just gulped it up and was gone. Good hook set, I know it was, I could feel him on there, but he hung up. This one, I think he's swallowing him inch by inch. I've never caught a flathead out of this lake, although they are here. There's a woman here that once a year likes to catch a 40 or 50 pound one and knock fillets off of him. Why, I don't know, but she does. There he is. It's the middle one. It's the middle one. There 
is patience a virtue? I guess not, because he just took my bait. Thank you, old channel. No, I got him. Or do I? Ha ha, I got him. Decent little fish. All right, we're swimming with it. Fellas, that is a dandy, dandy channel. Where'd my fish grips go to? I'll show him to you in just a second. Well, here, I'll show him to you now. That is a dandy, dandy channel. God daggone light, I ain't used to this night filming. Man, that's a nice channel. About the size of the one, it felt like it hooked earlier. Let me, uh, Try to keep him. I'm gonna lay him on my cast net. He'll probably flop and go silly. I'm gonna get my fish grips. one on film. You can see it. I turn the corner of my perfect little hook set. Just like that. Eight alt reaper. HTT. Oh look the bugs are back. That's a good five six pound channel. Just this light a little bit. Ah, quit it. Ow. Yeah, that felt good. Dandy little channel. Compared to what we was catching the other night. Boy, this night film was a little more difficult. Nice, nice little channel. I'm torn. I need some meters in the fridge. That's a younger channel, though. He's still... It don't look like... You know what I think's happening? I think... Is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. I think it's a female that spawned. Because, you know, once females, from what I know of it, the females spawn... And the males run them off the nest after that, and the males take care of the nest. 
Anyway, it's a respectable channel cat. It's five, six pound fish. I'm just looking it over, guys. Man, that's a nice channel. You know, what? these channels still got them spots on them, them little black spots. And that is a fairly younger fish. And what I'm getting at is a channel that size. We've got a shad population in this lake that's crazy. I mean, I'd draw it here right now and catch shad. And a channel that size with spots still on it. That's a, this is a young fish with a breeding population like this. Man, that's good. That's good. Well, there it is, guys. I'm not going to kill it. I need, I need some fish in the freezer, but I'm not going to kill this fish. A fish this big, spots on it like that, I think I'm just going to put it back. That's a dandy channel. There you go. We come out here to make a video and we just made one. Channel cats. Live shed. See if we can catch another one. The bite's slow, but they are there. Wow. I ain't never caught a channel that size. Still got them young black spots on it. I mean, not spots like um, parasites or anything. Just you, you ever catch a young channel and they got little black spots on them? Usually my littler ones have that, and this is just a gorgeous fish. A little bit of gold in him. Black. Let's let him fight another day, I reckon. Be honest with you guys, I like him fish out of cold water. Ever since I started fishing these catfish in the wintertime, man, the ones I did eat out of cold water, it tastes 10 times better. So, I mean, I might get a few this summer, but I'm thinking I'm going to wait till this winter. And that can get cold water fish so much better. Why it is, I don't know, but it is. So, here we go. There's my bait, a little live gizzard shed, four or five inch gizzard shed, what he took. I didn't think that fish was on there. Just taking my hook. I'm, I hook them a little closer up towards the back. Seem to get better hookups. There it is. But anyways. I forgot what I was saying. Uh oh, knocking stuff down. Mirror sinker. Let's get this out here. Bugs, they're back. I let that drop. I let it hit bottom before I click my reel. And I just let the, I let the line, I let the line pay out till it hits. So, there's a couple big channels out there. Last night it was just little dinkers, you know, pound. I'll put some pictures in the video of last night, but it was so windy last night, I couldn't video to save my life. So.
there we go. Come for catfish. We caught catfish. We made a video. But I let that line pay out once it hits the water. I sit there and leave the spool loose in my thumb and I just let it go. Let it drop till it hits. Then I click it over. Tonight, you'll see me do it different on the boat. I'll lock my reels down, put it in my monster rod holders. But tonight I got my clicker set because feller zones at night and I don't want something taking my pole on a fish like that. If I didn't have my pole set right, he would take it. But all right, guys, till the next one. Hope y'all can see me. Here, we'll just, we'll just hold the phone. There's the lake, guys. It's morning time. To be honest with you, I fell asleep in my chair. Got up and said, well, I'll pack everything up. Started reeling my lines in. All of a sudden, I had one take off screaming. And wouldn't you know, he got hung up. See that dock right there? Well, right up there is a brush pile right up there by the corner of that dock. I've got hung up in it twice tonight with a fish on it. But you ain't getting hung up, you ain't catfishing, that's the way I see it. So I'm gonna go home. I don't have no cell phone service here. My wife's probably upset. So I'm gonna get out of here. But we managed one, gave it a value and effort. You ain't gonna get it. If you don't go get it. So if you want it, you gotta go get it. Guys be safe. I love y'all to the next one.